I'm dating a broke guy and it really, really sucks because he has the best personality, hands down. I have so much fun with him. And but it's like it's gotten to the point where right now I'm not doing as financially well as I normally do. So in the past, like we have taken trips, but I've paid for the trips. I've paid for the hotel. I've paid for the rental of the car. If we've been to concerts, I've paid for the tickets. He does what he can when he can, but he doesn't do enough. Well, what it sounds like to me is that you want to do all these things and he could be like, you know what? I can't afford that. We can't afford that right now. Let's just not do that. And you might be the type of person that is just insistent on doing those things saying, oh, I just want to go anyway. I'll figure it out later. It doesn't matter if I have debt because a lot of women have debt. Uh, mostly, let's see what about 70% of the debt that is uh, owed in the United States is owned by women. So that means that women spend money hand over fist, even when they're in debt. Women tend to do a lot of things and then think about the ramifications after the fact. So it could just be a case that this guy's a little bit more frugal and he's like, I don't want to do that. And she's just insisting on it. She pays for it and then she complains about paying for it. You know what I'm saying? But he does what he can when he can. But it's gotten to the point where it definitely sucks because I'm not doing as well financially. I can't afford to do things for two people. I can't even afford to do things just myself right now. So because I can't afford to do things for two, we actually don't do anything. We haven't done anything. Like if I'm being for real, for honest, like in September for my birthday month. Oh, here we go. The birthday month. Your birthday is one day, not a whole, a whole month. So you want somebody that you're with to celebrate your birthday a whole month and do things a whole month. And again, all these things that you want to do cost money. Did He does celebrate me around those times, though. He does celebrate me around the holidays. He does celebrate me around my birthday. But yeah it's been october november december january so for the past four months me and him we just been like sitting ducks and yeah it just it sucks like it's crazy because i don't think like i feel like females come on online and talk about like look what he bought me look what he got me look at where he took me it's so you're just you're envious of the women that are doing that doing that but i want to ask you and all the ladies that are watching this video how do you even know that what you're seeing is the truth? How do you know those ladies are not lying to you? How do you know those ladies are not fronting? How do you know that ring on her finger is actually a ring that someone else bought for her? How do you know she even has a husband? How do you know that she's doing all these things that she's telling you? You don't. You just believe anything you want to believe because you're in competition. You see? You are envious. You want to do what you see other women do. And this is what causes a lot of women to get in trouble. Because there's a lot of women out there that get up there and, and they show this facade on social media. They get up there and they give all kind of advice on social media. And they they know that women are just going to soak it up as it's like like it's it's the truth. They know that women know that they can easily manipulate other women. Women. That's why they do it, even if it's on a subconscious level. That's what it is. Women are in competition all the time. She's worried about what other women are doing. And she's saying that my life doesn't add up. I need to catch up. If this girl is posting up on her husband, took her hair and did this and that, then my need to be doing the same thing. My boyfriend, husband, whatever it is, or my girlfriend, whatever it is. It's like the ones that are dating the broke men. We don't talk about it, but it's like, no, I mean, I don't know. There has to be like a conversation about it. And it really sucks because I feel like it's kind of getting to the point where if I'm not the breadwinner or if I'm not, if I don't somehow make my life lead me up to making income for two, I don't think that I'm going to be able to be with this person. And it just really sucks because it's he, like I said, he has like the best personality hands down. So I'm on here to ask, what do I do? And don't be too cold. Like, don't be too rude. You know what I'm saying? Because I had my narcissist ex-boyfriend who made way more money than I did. And... You know, that wasn't the answer. Like, 
uh, was he really narcissist or was it just that he wouldn't give you what you wanted every time you wanted? He wouldn't let you have your way. Maybe he was frugal and he was like, I'm not wasting my money on that. And you didn't like that. So you went with the nice guy that would probably let you get away with everything that you're doing. Because I tell you this, as a man, if a man is sitting there letting a woman take care of him, pay his bills, do all this stuff, put food in his, his, his mouth, take care of all the things he should be doing for himself, then he has a lot of work to do. That's not somebody that you should, uh, you should even be trying to entertain to be in a relationship with. But a lot of women will pick these men because these men will let them have their own way. So it's like, where is the common ground? Like, and obviously I do have a little bit of fear. Like if I stay with him during this whole time and I continue to help out, is he going to just walk away when he does better? Why are you living in a world of uh, fear? Why are you thinking about what if? See that what if thinking process that a lot of ladies have causes them to have a lot of uh, problems in their relationships because they can't keep that to themselves. That what if comes out in a lot of conversations, a lot of actions. So she might not be saying, what if this happens? Will you leave me? But her actions and her attitude will, will reflect that thought process. So then she starts acting in a different way. He's defensive and he's like, what's up with that? And all of that. And the whole time, what does she say? There's nothing wrong. Just asking. You see what I mean? You cannot live in a life of a uh, fear like that. Maybe she's fearful because if the guy uh, gets a lot of money or gets more money, gets, you know, more established, then he's going to realize that he doesn't want to be with her and that she's not really what he thought she was. See, that's part of it, too. Or maybe he'll find someone else. Maybe someone else would be more valuable to him than she is. There's a lot of things that she's not saying here. It, it's just ah, it's so scary it's so crazy because it's like i really really like him and i really 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 like don't want to like not be with him but at the same time too like i'm too effing old to do this shit like i've already spun around this block a few times like <sighs> Well, I will tell you that you you probably need to stop worrying about what other women are doing. Stop listening to all this advice from your friends. Stop believing every single thing women tell you because most of the time they're not telling you the truth and misery loves company. It's, I'm just going to be honest. You know what I'm saying? So you have to, if you love this guy, he's not doing enough. You don't think he's doing enough. Talk to him about that. Try to work on that. And then if you don't get what you need and he doesn't get what you know he needs from you, then you know, you guys just have to act accordingly, but you can't base everything on uh, m money, you know, being able to do this. If you're surviving, you're doing fine and you don't always have to be doing something. But one of the reasons why you always want to have to want to be doing something is because you're watching other women, watching other women on social media, listening to what they're saying and telling you that they're always doing something because you need to be in competition with that. Don't ruin a good relationship just because you think you have to be keeping up with the Joneses and doing what your girls are doing. Because a lot of times those women are not telling you the truth and they just do not have your best interests at heart. I know that's something that a lot of ladies don't want to hear me say, but it is the truth. By nature, women are in competition with each other and that's not, not going to change in 2024 or 2 million in 24 because it's part of who you are. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Make sure to like it. Subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. If you're on TikTok, make sure to follow me. I'd appreciate that. Much love, and I hope you guys have a good day. Peace. May the force be with you.